let's look at the graph on excel so if this is the spreadsheet and you are going to create a graph you have to look at the headings of the spreadsheet because that is where you are going to be finding the information to create a graph so look at the instruction here it says create a column graph to compare target and sales so when we look at this spreadsheet we have salesmen and their targets and the sales that they have so before you can insert a graph you need to select the columns that are specified when we look at the instruction it says the column should compare target and sales so target is a column heading for the spreadsheet and also sales so when you create a graph you will highlight like i'm going to highlight now so firstly i will highlight target from the heading until the end of the information in that column and then now i want to highlight sales so when i go to highlight sales then target disappears the highlighting goes away so you will need to hold control when you highlight target after highlighting target you hold control then you highlight sales like i'm doing i highlight target then i hold control on the keyboard and then i highlight sales while holding control so when we insert our graph we don't want it to be an empty graph that doesn't show the owners of these targets and sales so we will also include the sales main the instruction says the column graph to compare target and sales we also include sales main so that we know that these targets and all the amounts they belong to all these people then when you go to insert after highlighting you will go and find the group called charts and then you choose the type of graph so according to the instruction it should be a column graph when i go to the first one the column and then i click there i will take the first 2d column so this is the column graph with all the people or the salesmen and their targets and sales as indicated so after we have inserted this graph now we look at number two it says display the values on the graph so it means now we need to see that john has a target of how much and a sales of how much so those are data labels if you look here on the graph there's a plus sign which is green if i click on it i will see data labels when i click there on data labels you can see that the values are displaying now on my graph because now john we are comparing the 9000 and the 9.5 which obviously when we look at our spreadsheet it is the target and the sales so that is how you compare so when the values are displayed on the graph like they are now then it is clear to see which one is higher and which one is lower so we can see that john is leading so a graph actually helps you to analyze the information because now you see that who is leading in terms of sales display the values on the graph so we have done it do not show do not display the legend that is instruction number three so the legend there as indicated shows that target and sales okay target is that color blue and sales is orange so the the instruction says we should not display this so the the way we switch off the legend you go and click chart element there on the left and then you will see legend when i click legend i choose none then you see that that legend is gone all right number four says create a pie graph all right so i'm going to create a second graph now which is a pie graph okay so i'm going to create a pie graph with the same information so i will highlight target with the information 
and then I hold control like we have learned and then I highlight sales with the information and then I will also hold control because I want the salesman to be part of my graph so when I go to insert and then now I'm going to choose pi there I take the first one now you see my pi graph comes there I can hold it and drag it to put it so that it, it doesn't sit on top of my column graph there now I want them to be visible at the same time so the difference between a column and a pi is that a column will be having information appearing vertically and horizontally okay vertically and horizontally and a pi the information will appear on top of the segments on that round shape which is having its own segments that you can display the information on top of it so now when we look at the instruction it says do not display the legend so i will click the pie graph and then i will go to design chart element legend none so now you see i don't have the legend anymore and then number five says do not display the legend we have done it number six explode or slice out the smallest segment all right so how do you know which one is the smallest seg smallest segment here it means now we should have the values displaying on top of the graph all right so that we see which one is the smallest so how do you have the information displaying those are data labels if i click on the pie graph and then i go and display the data labels here all right remember we have learned that this plus sign here when you click it you will get data labels when i tick there then i will see the values appearing in inside my graph just like we have seen when we were doing the column graph so the smallest segment it is the one that is having the lowest amount which is going to be this yellow one okay so i need to explode it or slice it out so i will click on it so that this small handles are appearing around this small one only then when i hold the yellow part and then i drag out it will leave or go out of the pie and then it will remain being alone like that so that is how you explode okay or cut out or slice out whatever part that they want you to slice out move the graph to be on its own sheet so when you move the graph to be on its own you click on the chart area all right when you click on the chart area like i clicked now you will see that there is design there make sure your design is open the tab is open under chart tools on the right hand side far right you will see move chart when i click there then i will see a screen that comes where i have to choose where the graph must go so i want it to be on its own new sheet i click there then when i click ok the graph is on its own so where is the information for my spreadsheet the information is there the bottom where it says sheet one when i click sheet one i'm back to my spreadsheet you see this is the original work that i'm doing so even this one i can move it to be on its own click it and then i go to design i click on the far right move chart new sheet click ok so all my graphs are there chart one chart two and then sheet one is where i get my original work okay so here number eight says display the percentages as data labels so when we go back to our graphs let's go to our pi when we look at the data labels on the pi this is money so when i click on the segments again and go there to view my data labels then you will see that you have chart title data labels and 
legend so these data labels are currently money i can go to that small arrow next to it to find more options okay so now it's either you can move it outside or a uh, outside end maybe they want you to move it to be inside or uh, appear as callouts and so on all right or you go to more options when you go to more options now that is when you find the type of value that you can give to that data label so right now is just value as money i can change it to be percentage when i tick inside percentage and remove the value it will just show the percentages so that is what the instruction was saying so i will just lose the properties so you see i don't have money anymore i've changed the money to be percentages by actually going to more options under data labels all right so if i go to sheet one again to see they say all graphs should display the title as sales targets when i go back to my graphs the title still says chart title then i can edit the title to be sales targets okay even for the other graph as well i can go and change the title to be sales targets right so i have my chart one as a pie graph chart two as a column graph i hope you have learned how to insert graphs using the spreadsheet that we have under sheet one thank you for watching mm -hmm.